Hi there, and welcome to Two Coaches Clatch, Two Brain Health Coaches Clatch. I'm Diana Liz, and I'm a brain health coach, and I'm with my dear friend and colleague, Pam Miles, who is also a Daniel Amen uh, brain health coach. And each week we get together and uh, we talk about those issues that are uh, challenging and um, that we're working on in hopes that uh, you might find something of interest, help, motivation, whatever, uh, from our experiences. So uh, today we are sharing uh, our uh, goals for the new year. So Pam, tell me about what you've got planned. Well, happy new year. <laughs> happy new year. <laughs> you know, um, actually 2020 wasn't that bad for uh, my health. Uh, I, I did have some, uh, some really nice gains. I uh, was able to um, uh, have a better body composition. I lost some fat and uh, gained, yeah, you know, and, and, and muscle. And, and so it was, it was more of a healthier balance for me. So I want to kind of continue in that. So that's one of my big things for me. 2021, um, I, I really want to continue working on improving my brain health. Uh -huh. And in conjunction with that is the gut. And uh, it's kind of all with the immune system as well, because, you know, we're all dealing with everything that's going on right now. And uh, with, with that um, said, one of the things that has really impacted my brain health, uh, among other these issues I'm talking about, is the fact of uh, being insulin resistant. Mm -hmm. And um, um, I have lowered my A1C. Uh, it went from 6.3 to 5.8. Uh -huh. So I'm right there on the borderline of the borderline. Because <laughs> uh, at 5.8, you're considered uh, borderline diabetic or. Um, uh, but you're down from what? Uh, 6.3. 6.3? Yes. Wow, that is really an accomplishment. Yeah, I'm, I'm really very excited. You know, now I want my goal, or I shouldn't really even say a goal, but because uh, my goal is to improve overall brain health and everything. But um, I, by doing that, I'm going to intend to lower my A1C to less than 5.7 because that's kind of, you know, where you hear the yeah. pre-diabetic or borderline, you know, if you've always heard, well, I'm borderline. <laughs> I don't want to be borderline. <laughs> I want to be below the borderline. <laughs> and so I'm going to work on that with, you know, obviously diet's important, um, you know, watching the carbs and the good carbs and uh, getting in healthy fats and a lot of fiber and uh, lean protein, you know, I'm mostly uh, plant-based protein. And then of course I have a really good supplement regimen that is very important to me and to this goal. And uh, um, I am starting on the elimination diet. Um, I, uh, I'm not eliminating everything at one time. And I'm not even for sure if I'm doing that right, but for me, I wanted to pick certain categories. And right mm -hmm. now, I'm eliminating the nightshades. You're um, eliminating what? The nightshades. Oh, nightshades, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and because I love them. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sometimes that's a clue. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking that that might be a problem. And, uh, and so that's the first one to go. And um, um, so I'm going to continue on that, you know, in search of and finding things that might be causing inflammation in my body, because mm -hmm. we both know that's that's a biggie. And um, and so I'm also going to be focusing uh, a lot on my exercise, you know, trying to get a good balance with cardio and with strengthening mm -hmm. and uh, definitely adding stretching, a good stretching program to that yeah. for me. Um, I want to um, continue monitoring my blood sugar 
but I'm so tired of sticking myself just constantly. <laughs> <laughs> I truly was obsessed. Pin obsessed. <laughs> really was a pincushion there because um, you know I want to um, uh, maybe continue to test after extremely high. If I feel like it's high carbs or something, I want to mm. kind of check and see and get you know get a level going. But um, I am interested to continue with the A1C home test. Yeah. Um, I got a good one and um, I am crossing my fingers hoping that, you know, it is accurate. I do intend to check it, you know, with an actual doctor's visit and, and having them draw the labs and everything. But uh, I want to do this like every two months. And so I can kind of see how things are actually going. Um, I want to continue working on stress management and um, uh, because, well, that's a whole nother topic and another long conversation that, you know, about that. Yeah. But um, I do want to try um, uh, to, um, of course, I do a uh, prayer and, uh, but I'm interested to learn. I'm going to sit in on some of your meditations that okay. you do. And um, I want to look into, um, um, you know, connecting more with friends, kind of like this. You know, I look forward to our conversations. It really makes a difference for me. And uh, I think that um, if anybody else out there would probably feel the same way, you know, that missing that, that connections with people, you know, being face to face and things. And so this is kind of really nice to do. And I want to, you know, reach out more to to people and uh, and also networking i enjoy doing that so <clears throat> excuse me a, a personal thing for me is really just trying to do more things that make me happy because i i know that that is something that's gonna improve my health you know definitely my mental health <laughs> yeah. and, you know, that should have been on the list right there, too. <laughs> when I talk about brain, I mean that one as well. <laughs> Let's not forget that. So, you know, yeah. And, um, you know, I, I do want to tend to my numbers, you know, my thyroid and vitamin D and, and things like that. So that's pretty much, that's it in a nutshell. Yeah, well, Pam, I think it's wonderful. And uh, congratulations on, on uh, one um, getting uh, your um, glucose down and improving your numbers. That's, you know, as we know, as health coaches, that um, having a, a good uh, insulin and glucose levels is just critical for brain health. And um, that's, that's a wonderful achievement. And then the other one is that I've been gaining some muscle mass. Uh, yeah. I'm very envious. <laughs> And I'll share in a minute, um, but that, that's, that's wonderful. That's an indication that your um, body uh, is in a really good place because um, it's, and that's what I'm struggling with is, is when the, the, the blast is the growth, it's osteoblast and um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Syn, uh, syn, um, Synaptoblast. Synaptoblast is when your brain is, uh, the, you know, is on the positive side and it's keeping up with the destruction. And when it's not, then you can't gain muscle because your your um, your clasting system, your um, osteoclast or your synaptoclast, is doing more destruction. And uh, I'm envious because for the last three years I've been trying to gain muscle mass and I can't. And so that shows that whatever you're doing, it's working. So yeah, yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's just great. And uh, you know, you've got a systematic approach, and you kind of tone down a little bit, and um, just gonna take it a day at a time, and and mind your numbers. And I think you've got a great plan. So congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, I'm. I, you know, I, I'm realistic. I, that's why I said it's a year long plan. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I know that uh, I can't just expect today that everything's going to fall into place. And I started exercising and all that. But, you know, I'm I know that overall that I'm working myself into the things I need to do. So 